Hello everybody out there in the Dolly Cam. It's Rachel and I am back. We are here in another wonderful workshop and we are going to see a tutorial on how to make a frilly bonnet for your doll. Isn't this bonnet so cute? You can make this bonnet in a variety of colors and a variety of sizes. And we are here with a doll artisan guild instructor. Her name is Carol and she and her workshop is going on right now. So they are kind enough to let us in and uh, show you guys a little bit of what's going on. So how to make a frilly bonnet for your antique doll or vintage doll or artisan doll or any kind of doll that needs a frilly bonnet. This is how you're, this is, this is, one of the ways to do it so carol thank you so much for inviting us in here so you the name of your workshop is how to make a frilly bonnet so yeah and it's done with silk ribbon just silk ribbon that you uh that comes on a roll i had i had two two different variations i had some that were blue some that were this rose color and then they also have a an off-white ribbon that uh that gets sewed onto the edge so it kind of peeks out a little bit from the edge of the uh the bonnet easiest thing to do is we started with a ready-made buckram base and these come in different sizes and so do you order these off the internet or do you make yeah, them I order them from yeah from one of the doll supply companies. okay yeah so everybody out there you guys can order these from a doll supply company but you could also probably get some buckram and make your own if you, if wanted, you wanted to, to. Yeah. yeah 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 so this is how the bonnet starts yeah, yeah because the, because uh because you can buy these in different sizes to start with so um, you know, so that you can, uh, uh, you can make these bigger. Right. Super cool. Yeah. So what they're doing is, is they're taking the silk ribbon and they're, and they're gathering it, gathering it together. And then, um, and then just with just a little teeny bit of glue, they're just tacking it to the inside of the brim. And that's, that's about where they are right now. And then on the back, um, we've got some, uh, some real, it's a fine cotton tool that, uh, Again, they're they're gathering it up to fit it on the back of the brim, and then and then they'll get to the point where they're going to gather up uh, uh, one of the ends, and so it kind of poofs it up a little bit, and then it just gets fastened to the bottom, and then they have a big long piece of the matching silk ribbon to do whatever they want to do across with. the back. They can do, you know, knots, bows, poofs, however however they want to do it, and then we just have little silk little silk ribbon flowers to finish off the love the, the frilly bonnet yeah. wow yeah. so would you would you be would you mind would you be willing to show us um a little bit of how they are doing that first step around here um okay where they, where they do this yes the gathering? Mm -hmm. okay um all right what they have to do is uh well i can just i can just demonstrate with this okay so what they're going to do is let me get stuff so that First, what they have to do is take take the narrower. Give this back to you. Okay, <laughs> and then and then the uh, and then the wider, and then and what I did was that I gave them pearl cotton because it's a little bit it's a little bit heavier than sewing thread, and uh, and what they did was they just they stitched the stitched the ribbon together, just overlap a little bit, stitch it together, and then they're going to run another and then they run another row of gathering stitches across the bottom, and that's what gets pulled up to make this. The outside ruffles the ruffles yeah. we love ruffles yeah. can yeah. you make those ruffles as high as you want if you wanted to I mean you could use wider wider ribbon mm -hmm. and, make it, and make it stick out more if they wanted to and then they have and then they have another piece of just the just the matching colored ribbon and uh, they're, then they're gonna gather both sides and then fit that inside just below the first rows okay okay and then on the back um, the uh, the tool uh, it's a little bit hard to see here. Let's see. Maybe get this pin out of the way. What happens is is that there's a edge of the tool gets folded over, and then they run a gathering stitch, and then gather that up, glue it, just glue it down lightly, and it covers up the raw edge of the of the, of the ribbon. Uh -huh. Okay, and then they run another row of gathering to help pull the tool into the into the back of the hat, so it fits nice and snug, so that when this so when you when you do this the gathering back here it poofs it up we love poof yeah <laughs> more poof the better right yeah and the back and the, and the big long piece of ribbon that, across the back that they can do whatever they want with that okay you know they can make bows you know they can do be creative right love it yeah. love it
If you guys are just tuning in, we are here live at the Doll Artisan Guild Convention in Colorado Springs, and we are learning all types of uh, skills and different ways that we can uh, sew for our dolls and, and make dolls, and, and we are learning so much about how antique dolls were originally made by seeing these instructors and um, their wonderful uh, tutorials and presentations. So uh, the, the women and men out here truly, truly, truly love antique dolls. Because they um, they love them enough to, to recreate them. So we are here live and they are making these wonderful frilly bonnets. Well, I think one of the nice things too about this one is that you don't have to have really super duper sewing skills. That's perfect. <laughs> I like that. I like that. No super duper sewing skills. It's perfect. Yeah, basically, it's just running stitches and pulling them together the to gather up the ribbon so you have a nice, you know, so it's a nicely uh, so it's gathered it's nicely and, yeah, spaced and around the edge of the brim. I love that. So, and I didn't, you know, if somebody really wanted to, they could actually, you know, like maybe uh, line the inside if they, if they wanted mm -hmm. with a piece of fabric or, or, or just Make it look pretty. They wanted, yeah, if they wanted to. Yeah. So. so, Carol, you've been doing this a long time. How quick can you make a frilly bonnet? Well, the first one took me a while. <laughs> the first one took you a while, but yeah. now you can you can. Yeah, because now yeah, because you know once you got it figured out, then it's just it, the slowest thing is just running all those running all the, the you know the hand stitches to sew the ribbon together and do the gathering. That's the thing that's taken them probably the most amount of time. Right. Yeah. So we're just gonna peek over a couple of your shoulders if you don't mind. We are in a workshop out here at the Doll Artisan Guild Convention, and. The participants are working on making a frilly bonnet, which we just got the rundown on how that's done from Carol, the instructor. She is from New York. People came from all over the country and even all over the world to be here at this wonderful convention out here in Colorado Springs. Well, you're sure cruising along. It's coming along nice. Yeah, it looks beautiful. I've got to try to get this corner to go together. The corners are probably a little bit harder. Yeah, well, you, have to, you have to kind of do a little bit of tucking. So you'll take and fold the excess under to hide the finished edge. Okay. Then you won't see it. Oh, that looks beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, and then what she'll do is then she'll, she'll kind of, just with a little bit of glue, she'll just tack that down, and then she'll take her other, her other piece and gather that up and then put that in. Um, just overlapping that a little bit and tucking it down inside. Wonderful. Well, great job, Shelby. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Great. Thank you for your patience. No problem. If you guys are enjoying these tutorials, please share the video and please comment and share with your friends. We are here live at the Doll Artisan Guild Convention in Colorado Springs. Ruby Lane is the title sponsor of this convention and we are gonna be bringing you a lot more content between now and Saturday night when we go, uh, go over the rainbow or over the yellow brick road is the theme of the convention, so it's a lot of fun. Thank you guys for tuning in. We'll chat with you soon. Bye-bye.